Hey guys, so just happened to me that I just read the secondary school. I never went around telling any stories or what happened there, mainly because I was reading to a computer and I just got it. What I mean, it only took me like three to five years to get it. Come on, give me some credit. So anyway, here's the whole of the stories. The school years has basically just started and a new year means new teachers. And one of those teachers was my Spanish teacher. And one thing that you should know about this teacher is that I believe she liked to make her class as viciously as difficult as possible. Like first of all, on exam, she only gives us 55 minutes to complete everything in the exam. But you may say, ah, uh, that language but isn't that the normal amount? No, 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 you don't understand. For Spanish exams, we had always been given an extra 15 minutes to complete the exam because of how mind-numbingly long they were. You get those extra 15 minutes and you have enough time to complete everything in the exam, no problem at all. But with this teacher, you have to be in a constant rush and with no time for relaxation. And it was even made worse when you have to take into account that I was still in my third of secondary state of mind then. And I still wasn't taking school as seriously, meaning that I would spend more of a, most of my time playing video games and making actual videos. And this is when Hypixel Skyblock came into play. I had started playing it a lot more and the Spiders and Revamp had just been released. And me, seeing all of that juicy, juicy clickbait, decided to make a video about it. And this also happened to be around the time, the exam season of the first semester. And one of those exams was the Spanish exam, which happened to land on a Tuesday of all things. And not only was it on a Tuesday, but in the last hour of the school day, right before going back home. And wanna know what made this even worse for me? On Mondays and Tuesdays I had the after school English lessons at 3.30pm. But on Tuesdays I had to come home walking and it was a 30 minute walk back home. Which when you take into account school is ended at 2.30 and that it takes me 7 minutes to add to my English lessons, it did not leave at all time for eating. Then the day of the exam came. Now I knew I hadn't studied a lot, but I knew that I had studied enough to get a 6 out of 10 or maybe even a 7. Because let's be honest here, a Spanish or other literature in my cup of tea, alright? I hate it. That's why I chose the sciences path. So anyway, the time is over and I haven't had enough time to fill all the equations, but I still felt like it was a pass. But then, several days later, disaster struck. The teacher is giving us the exams, and as I confidently grab it and look at the grade, thinking I got around a 6, I see a number that I had only ever seen on the decimals on a grade before. A 4. And as I see the number, I feel the entire earth imploding beneath me, quaking, shaking, breaking apart. And as I fall on the floor from the shame, I scream to the top of my lungs. No! Hey, well, darling, isn't this a bit of exaggeration? And today I have to say, quite, quite really. But you want to know what made this sting even more? First of all, it was a 4.9 out of 10. And you needed at least a 5 to pass. And with this teacher, if you fail something, you have to repeat it, the grade would not get rounded up in the slightest. And what made this even worse is that I had never failed an exam in my life previously, alright? Like if I went to my house with a grade like that, my parents would come into my room, break my kneecaps and then force me to climb the Everest with them still broken. Except that probably wouldn't happen because they're not the kind of parents to beat up their children, they're actually quite supportive. But still, my average grade is a 9 out of 10, my inner perfectionist would not be able to deal with this. But then... As I'm looking through the exam, thinking to myself that this couldn't be a canon event, that it just wasn't real, shaking from the fear, I notice a certain exercise that everybody in the class seemed to be complaining about. And when I look at it, I notice it has quite a low grade, despite almost nothing it being wrong. And then, the moment to give the back the exam came. And I proceeded to hand it into her and tell her that I thought that exercise had too low of a grade. But then, as I was preparing to go to my seat, cowering in fear, I noticed her changing the grade of the exercise, and when I take a closer look at it, I notice that she cut up the 8th grade by 0.25 points, making my grade a 5.15 instead of 4.9. I was saved! The streak continued! Like, I tell you, I had never loved and hated a person so much at the same time in my life before. You wouldn't understand. This actually wasn't the worst experience I had with her. Fast forward to next trimester and she gives us the most ridiculous assignment I've ever had to do up to this date. Literally. So of course the teacher decides that we have to make a book trailer as a trimester's project. And what's a book trailer you may ask? It's basically a movie trailer made for a book. And in my entire year, there was only one other person who I was aware of that actually knew how to edit videos, apart from me, of course. And when you have to consider that this had to be done in, in groups of four or five, and that there was like 60 students divided into three classes, you could expect how badly this could end. So one month passes, and MRCC announced it, and so of course, she waits until a week before the assignment is due to actually give us any sort of instructions for the project, which were also by itself kind of big. So four days before the assignment is due, my group and I decided to meet up to start recording. And in our luck, one of them happened to get sick that same day and can therefore not record. Meaning that we would have to change everybody's roles if we wanted to have a chance at finishing this project on time. 
And so when we get to the one of the friend's house to start recording, one of my friends, of course, comes an hour later than we were supposed to, meaning that we were only left with two to three hours of being able to record. And we then ended up being fake scenes for the exact same scene. And I know my friend is gonna watch this when I post it. I know you're gonna mention it to me tomorrow when I get, we get to class. I'm never gonna let you forget this. I'm judging you. But fortunately, the next day comes and everybody's able to record and we can finish recording. And dude, you would not be able to understand how hard I carry this project. We use my microphone, we recorded the audio with my computer, I searched the music, I shot most of the scenes, I got most of the script, and I edited the entire video. I mean, I pretty much did like 70 to 80% of the project. Like, for reference, the same day we ended recording, I stayed awake from 8pm up until 5am, and I still hadn't finished anything because I had to change every single scene and its audio. And naturally, not only did we have to make that project and hand it to her, but we also had to present it and tell in front of the entire class how we had done it. So me, wanting to get a good grade, and decided to bring my laptop to school to flex on everyone my editing skills in Sony Vegas, which were really bad, but I don't care, and show how we, or rather, I, had edited the video as well as a presentation showing our whole process. So we do the presentation, forgetting some things, but still good enough to read at least a nine. Well, a week passes, and she gives us the grades, an eight in the trailer, and seven in the presentation. And I'm just like, what? Did you at least tell us what we done wrong to send this grade? Will she meticulously follow every single step you gave us? Well, she didn't. So we were just left confused. The only thing she told us is that the, the trailer begins and it looks like the perfect place for it. But then it shows all the kids in. Which is true, but like, did you really expect us to find a 19th century British house near us to record a trailer for Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne? I highly doubt it! Now I could have put a green screen to kind of simulate it, but it would just look terrible. But to be fair, we used a green screen in the last scene and it was a fantastic shot, let me tell you that. Now, am I gonna show it to you? Nope, I don't wanna dox my friends. Okay, maybe you shouldn't be smack talking with my teacher like this, fully knowing that I uploaded the trailer to my YouTube channel like the big idiot that I am, and that she could access my channel at any time she pleased. What do I mean? What are the other she specifically looks back into the projects people have sent her, clicks on mine, goes to my channel, and watches this exact video? Come on. Like, imagine if one day I just get dragged out of class because they found out I've made this video where I don't actually insult anybody, nor say their names, nor who they are. But they still want me to delete it because it happened last year. Well, maybe I'm being way too paranoid right here, but, but I don't care, man. I should imagine every single outcome possible coming from me posting this video, including me reaching 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Click on the button. Now. Now fast forward yet again to the next trimester, the last one of the year. And accordingly with the previous ones, we have another project to do. And this time, it was a much easier and reasonable one, making a presentation of whatever topic we didn't fit, including our own opinion. So me, being the big science nerd that I am, chose to make a presentation about the use of chemical weapons in the modern day. Now we had to make a script in paper and then a presentation and hand both it, which I had no problem whatsoever doing. And may I say that I made a fan fantastic presentation. Nobody even came close to how well I perfectly said I mentioned everything, it was just perfect, like all things should be. So she gives us the grade to this later, and I have a 9.75 out of 10 in the presentation, and a 7.5 out of 10 in the script. Well, I had lost two points because apparently I had forgotten to make the title page and to state my sources, even though they were in the presentation, but whatever man, this isn't what I was focusing on. But rather, there's 0.5 points I did not have because I lacked some arguments. And I look closely at it, and it says, missing a personal experience argument. Now, I don't know you, but I don't think me, a 16-year-old who does nothing but play video games in his room all day, could have any experience with chemical weapons. What? Like, yeah, man, I, the Minecraft YouTuber, the nerd, the smarty pants, the weirdo, the teacher's pet, you may say, handles napalm on a daily basis. Okay, maybe I'm being way too toxic, but you can guess how I felt when I saw this. It was like, heh? Well, I mean, in the end, she wasn't that bad of a teacher. She was actually quite nice, and I actually ended up getting a higher grade than in previous years. We I don't think it was a result of her way of teaching, but rather me just starting more. But I'm also a petty person who complains about petty things, so I guess it kinda cancels out. But one thing I'm never gonna stop complaining about is the time she gave us to complete the exams. I could have gotten so much better grades with those extra 15 minutes. I'm so mad, you wouldn't understand it. So yeah, pretty much the entire subject was the reason why I barely uploaded videos for over a year, apart from me being lazy, can never forget that. And there's actually many more stories I have with the subject, but they're hardly interesting and the videos are already getting a bit long. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and go watch our other videos right here so as to give you watch time so I can monetize my channel to get a whole 2 euros per month. Please subscribe, I want cloud. Anyway, 
We're very close to a thousand subscribers, so be sure to subscribe. Okay, but seriously, why are you still here? Watch the video. I want money. Bye.